Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre market view. US markets were flagged despite a surprise in the Eurozone over the rate cut, uh, wherein the rates have been cut by 5 basis points, so almost about 0.1%. And there are also talks of a further stimulus from the Eurozone as the overall economic situation in many parts of the Europe continues to be weak. Uh, European markets, however, were up anywhere from 1 to almost about 2% because of the positive impact of the rate cut. And when we look at the Asian markets today morning, no major uh, surprises. The markets are flat by and large, and uh, SDX Nifty is also suggesting that we are going to open flat. In terms of flows, friends, yesterday in the cash market, the FIs were biased to the tune of almost about 1800 crore, but adjusting the idea block team. The net buying was somewhere close to about 300 crore, and in the uh, uh, cash market, the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 555 crore. Overall, our market continues to scale new heights, and after a five day winning streak, we had some kind of a flattish close, and we had seen major corrections across the high beta names like DLF, the JP Group, and other companies like HDIL, etc., Unitech. Uh, and, and, and other real estate companies, but broadly the market continues to remain quite resilient. Uh, so there might be some kind of a consolidation around current levels, but stock specific, we continue to be positive on the market. On that note, let me invite Sadhana to take us through important FNOQs and ideas that we can have from the FNO desk. Good morning, friends. Let's have a view on derivatives. After six consecutive positive closing, yesterday Nifty started the session on a negative note. And we have seen that markets continue to trade with negative bias as we have seen that uh, like uh, uh, high beta stocks were underperforming like BHEL, HDIL, DLF, JP Associates which were down by between the range of 5 to 18 percent each. And later we have seen that Nifty showed resilience at lower levels and from there it bounced back sharply backed by gains in NTPC, uh, HDFC, power grid due to which Nifty snapped its session with a margin loss of 0.10 percent at 8132 ordinaries. In this period, we have seen that long positions were squared off by market players as around 10 lakh shares were reduced in open interest. Approximately, uh, like we have seen that uh, open interest has decreased by 5% from 1 crore 78 lakhs to 1 crore 69 lakhs. And Nifty futures price also decreased by 8 rupees from 8140 levels to 8132. But on the other hand, we have seen that cost of carry increased by 48% from 5.292 to 7.83 along with nifty futures we have increased to 36 rupees from 26 premium on the options front pcr is increased from 489 to 0.891 approximately it is increased by 2.25 percent which is clearly indicating that put option has seen good build up in yesterday's trade uh, put option has added around 23 lectures in open interest and uh, call option has added around 8 lectures in open interest india was was down by 2 percent from 13.39 to 13.08 percent as we have seen that markets was trading with negative bias, so people have started taking positions in 7700 put option due to which 15% rise was seen in 7700 put option followed by 8000. And in call option, uh, 8000 has seen unmining activity in yesterday's trade and 8200 stands with highest number of shares in open interest in yesterday's trade followed by 8400. Yesterday's trade FIS for net sellers of more than 1000 crores in future and option segment. Mainly they were net sellers of 591 crore in next futures. They were net buyers of 314 crore in next options. They were net sellers in stock future also by 677 crores. They were net sellers of 34 crores in stock options also. A 5 day CVAP stands at 8050. Lower edge for the market would be 8050. This would act as a strong support going forward. And higher edge would be 8212. Singapore Nifty is down by 6 point at 8129, so we may see marginal flattish to negative start in Nifty futures today. That's it from derivatives. Friends, let me take you to Shere Khan pre-market uh, action, starting with actionable ideas. Uh, first of all, a long call on Coal India, as the MOEF has decided to do away with the public hearing needed for expansion of the big uh, coal mining projects. And the government may consider auctioning eight coal mines which have reserves of almost about 1773 million tons. So this could be a big positive trigger for a company like Coal India. So one can go long there with a stop loss of 371 and a target of about 390 to about 397. Also Tech Mahindra, we have a long haul as the company has secured an engineering solutions deal with Canadian aerospace uh, uh, leader uh, Pompa.
required here. So one can go long there with the stop loss of 2420 and a target of about 2543 to about 2592. Uh, here's the watch list for the day traders. Uh, stocks with positive bias are Federal Bank and Karnataka Bank. And stocks with negative bias are Sibla and uh, Tata Steel. In other news updates, friends, Enforces uh, is going to provide IT services to British Petroleum. And uh, this is going to be a big contract which is going to be effective from 1st of September 2014 for a period of 5 years. And Ida Infra has uh, got an order of 315 crore from Airport Authority. So the total uh, order book of the company stands at about 7000 crore. And uh, Sanlam, which is South Africa's largest insurer by market value, is going to invest about 52 million dollars in the uh, Indian uh, arm of insurance company Sriram Group uh, to about 49%. And United Breweries has completed the acquisition of Pacific Spirits Private Limited uh, for a total consideration of about 105 crore. IRB is looking at raising about 5,000 crore from lenders by the end of the October and early November to fund two of its road projects in Haryana and Maharashtra. And Info Edge QIB opens today with a floor price of about 766.89. That's it from all of us friends. Have a great weekend and see you on Monday morning.